Hey guys, Luke Klinker here from Klinker Apps. I just wanted to show you a little bit about our newest app, Blur Tonight. So, if we pull it open here, you'll see it's pretty much just like a normal launcher like you would expect. Um, it is built off of Google's Launcher 3, which is what they use for their Google Now integration, or just about, um, except uh, obviously ours doesn't have the Google Now page. What we have done, though, is we've actually created our own API for other devs to go in and create pages for our launcher. So um, we don't have Google Now, but in my opinion, we've got something way better. Obviously, this here is the Talon page. Uh, it can do anything and everything that the regular app can do. Um, so obviously, you can scroll through your timeline. You can open tweets. You can load new tweets, all that jazz. And then our next page here, this would be our Blur info page, which is kind of our version of um, of the Google Now page. Any div can also go in here. We created an API that they can go in and make their own cards for this. So we think that's pretty cool. Um, Google's obviously been pretty closed about their Google Now integration. We've never been able to interact with it, but I mean they've done a great job. It's just that no div could plug into it before. So obviously you can pull to refresh here, or refresh your cards. This is just a blank um, example card that I've made. Uh, just a little open source project I did so that other devs could learn from it. Then next up here we've got our evolved page. Um, again just one swipe away, pretty simple. And a calculator page after that. So again just a simple example page to kind of showcase what's, what's possible here. Um, and yeah it's all just one swipe away. And then if we come down here you might have noticed already but we do have an unread portion to this app. So we thought that was pretty cool. It's actually something I made just this last week. So it's, I mean, it's very new. It's very, very new. But so far it's been working great for me. I've worked out most of the kinks that I've found. Um, next up I'm going to show you settings. So we can go in here. Uh, here's our page picker. So all of these pages are what are going to show up on your launcher. So let's go in. We can change that one. Let's just show the Hello World. Again, uh, Hello World is just a simple example page so that other devs can take a look at it and try to understand how we did it and create it themselves. Here's our card picker then. This is for that info page that I showed you earlier. Uh, all these cards are the ones that show up on that page. You can swipe them away, you know, add new ones, just like that. Uh, and then up here, in our experimental settings, is where you're going to find your unread badges, like I said, brand new. So that's why it's kind of housed here for now. There are some bugs that come along with it. Uh, hopefully those will get worked out over time. But then, of course, you got your basic customizations. Um, you can customize your home screen grid, all the padding, screen orientation. Then we've got a couple gestures. Uh, swipe up for all apps and down for notifications. I'll show you those in a second. Of course, it wouldn't be a launcher without some visual customizations. So, of course, we can pick icon packs, adjust the scale, show the names. Uh, we've included a lot of the Android L styles the best we can. And then, some dock, some help. This frequent questions is going to be a great place to go to get your questions answered without having to wait on us for a response. But, anyways, this is Blur. Obviously, you're going to see it restart here, so it can get that new page added. I showed you I change it to the Hello World page. So, um, yeah, this is going to be available today, actually. We just finished it up, and it'll be available on the Play Store, and I'll post a link to that. Thanks, guys.